So your shots are satisfied yet. Back inside the big dome, let's learn more about Paolo Hubalde, courtesy of Rima Chanko. Thanks, Miko. I was able to chat with uh, Carissa Borja, soon to be Mrs. Paolo Hubalde. They plan to get married January 24 next year. That's also Paolo's 28th birthday. Now, Carissa's a big PBA fan since the time of Vince. He's on Padao. She says that uh, um, she, she's actually sitting beside Paolo's avid fan right now. Carissa says that Paolo and her are very close to Paolo's fans and that they make sure that they see them and sit with them every game. Carissa and Paolo love eating out and watching movies. The last movie that they watched together was your favorite, Miko, Twilight. Hindi totoo yun. Hindi ko mabinasa yung libro. Pero congratulations ha, in advance. My question is, when's the stag party? Ang tipid guys, sino ba yung sa birthday yung kasal? Sa regalo. Doon sa kanya, dalawa regalo. Hindi, lugi sa regalo. Sa regalo. Oh, Paolo, if you know what you're getting into, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice, you know, when, when they find time to be close with the fans. That's what Paolo and uh, Teresa are, are doing. You uh, know, fans, they say, they're all the support, you know. They make a lot of time and effort in uh, showing their support to their favorite players. I had fans too, you know. <laughs> I wouldn't want to put you on the spot. You know, sometimes, you know, I still text them. So, they don't have a gas, just a little bit. They're just a little forward. Ayun po, you can see that the missus will be the missus. Yes. The family is back. Congratulations. Under five minutes to go here in the third quarter. Wilson outside, Zunti, they swing it over, it's at the shot! Yes, sir! Well, that was a wide open look for Sunday Salvation. And he knocks down finally, you know, that's 2 of 10. 2 of 11. Wow, points inside the paint, dominated there by Ginebra. Three time here's Jeff Chan. Ginebra still comfortably ahead. That shot was bothered by Rivas. Cyrus Maggi now with nine markers. Forty, fifty-nine, forty-five. Rather, David of Here's Wilson and uh, Salva shot for three. Yes, sir. Streak shooter is Sunday Salva Shon. He has fifteen points in the ball game. And yeah, we're saying he's still struggling. Uh, offensively, but he has 15 points. Jeff Chad from the corner. And here's Artadi, the breakout, 3 on 1. Oh, what a that. defense by Cyrus Baggio. Now here's Jeff Chad on the move, hand off, Baggio. No, but he was fouled. Well, I like what Jeff Chan did. You really have to reward Cyrus Baguio for that defensive effort. You see him streaking down court. You give him the basketball, and now he'll get the chance to score. Third personal against uh, Rafi Rivas. That will send uh, or he never already in the penalty. And the first free throw is good for Skyros Baggio. As you said, you over to Eric Reyes. Well, Mikon, that last time out, Coach Yengia was really emphasizing to his players to get more physical with Barangay Ginebra. The problem is, in order for you to become really physical, you need also the big guys. Ayun nga yung nagiging problema ng Red Bull ngayon, yung the presence of big guys. That's why kinuha nila si Mike Holper. And at the same time, Coach Yeng wanted less dribble and more ball movement. There's a lot of one-on-one plays going on with the Red Bull Baracoa and Coach Yang doesn't really like to see that. He wants a lot more ball movement to make them more unpredictable. Nico? Uh, thank you, Eric. Uh, Red Bull needing to make a lot of adjustments to get back in this game. Oh, Coach Yang was right on the dot. He said about ball movement. They only had seven assists in the first half. That's a very, very low number. One, one assist here in the third quarter. Here's Cresado. Once again, entertaining the Barangay Hinebra <laughs> fans inside a big dome. <laughs> a 
Alex Cresano. Still not agreeing with the yeah. referees. <laughs> Trying to make a futile argument with the Chief Justice Joel Kalongkagi. Uh, Mr. Entertainment, <laughs> Alex Cresano picks up a foul. We'll take this time out. Ginebra still ahead, 64-47 over Red Bull. Back inside the Big Dome for more uh, PBA Wednesday action here on CS9. And to find out about the upcoming game schedules, uh, let's listen in to Rima Chanko. Thanks, Miko. Well, our game after this will be um, Rain or Shine versus Air 21. And no, Rain or Shine versus Santa Lucia, sorry. And then for Friday, we have Alaska versus Coke. That's our first game. And our second game is Air 21 versus Hinebra. Miko? Still happening here inside the, the Big Dome. I'd like to take this opportunity uh, to greet a friend of ours, attorney Rado Di Malibot, who is uh, watching right now for all your legal problems. If you don't have legal problems, you will have Rado. <laughs> Here's Sharma to Rodriguez. Nice fake. Ah, the basket is good. You know, uh, that was a big basket there. You know, this lead is uh, ballooning here for Barangay Nebra. Uh, you know, you always want to finish the quarter strong so that come fourth quarter time, you have something to work on. Whether you're ahead or, yes. whether you're, or even if you're trailing. That's right. Rodriguez fails to complete the three-point play. Under three minutes remaining in the third period. Here's Rivas. Rodriguez finally clears the rebound. Here's Selena Cruz. Cruz to Rodriguez. Rodriguez on the move. And that happened because uh, Cristiano had his back turned. Uh, on Larry Rodriguez. And you can see Larry Rodriguez already showing maturities in his games. Even though he's only a rookie, you know, not opting to take that uh, shot from top of the key and attacking the defender with his back turn. And he mentioned that Larry Rodriguez could very well be the steal of the draft of course Bob Bob Custodio would yes. probably beg to differ but the last uh, Red Bull rookie named Larry who was a steal of the draft is Larry Fedeshe that is correct drafted 14th overall was able to uh, grab the rookie of the year honors yeah. Yeah, a lot of it would depend on uh, if the team will win or not <laughs> right now Red Bull in need of wins so they haven't tasted victory in quite a while. Six game losing skip. That's correct. And you know, that does a lot in your confidence. That's why at the end of the third quarter, down by 14, you know, you don't want to be in this spot. You know, your confidence is down and you're